Mike Mata here. Welcome. We're going to talk today about a free tool that someone introduced me to called Network Miner, and I've had a little bit of time to play with it, and I'd like to show you where you can get it. www.netresec, kind of like R-E-S-P-E-C-T. No, different song. Uh, anyway, go get Network Miner. It's a free tool. They have two, free edition and the professional edition so you can see right there on my screen the professional edition seven hundred dollars and it does some other things that we're not going to go through exporting to csv i have other tools that do that like observer goip again i have observer that does some of these things so i don't really need to pay seven hundred dollars for that tool since i already have a tool that i've paid for observer that does all that anyway so go get network miner that's what we're going to talk about it is a free sniffing tool. You notice here under the select network adapter, you can choose your your physical Ethernet adapter, your wireless adapter, whatever. I'm just going to open up a trace file, one that I've already got. Uh, let's use App Troubles. And so you notice it starts to populate all those tabs across the top. There is a lot of great information that it's pulling out of that capture so you notice it's telling me here our local hosts we've got some local hosts 10 10 10 1 2 3 4 it gives you the names so you've got all the names the uh, NetBIOS or Windows names of those devices all the 900 plus frames that are in the trace and I don't really like to read a trace with this tool if I'm gonna read a trace file I would sure rather use observer to read a trace file but there's all the frames how many different files that it's seen pulled across so you can see here if I open that list up pulling some index files fav icon default a bridge file some headers stripes side nav some favorite icon HTML some of the images that are being pulled across so there's a bridge icon a BG icon or a JPEG file uh, some of the headers there messages there are uh, no messages if there are any credentials this is kind of nice now be careful with this you can start to go down the dark side pretty easy you notice I didn't have to do very much and it's given me here is the user ID and password for the client and server connection there client 3 talking to server 1 we see the admin as the user ID and password admin and camera 101 strong PW so we don't have to work real hard at pulling out credentials out of a trace file that's kinda handy depending upon, <laughs> upon what you want to do it's kinda handy sessions again in this case 20 different sessions going on uh, tells you what protocols they are when it started it's the start time of those particular sessions uh, how many DNS requests being made and what those DNS names were for and what was the in this case responses and parameters different things that are being requested the user agent you know what type of device in this case if I spread that out the user agent tells us here Internet Explorer 8 or NT51 kind of gives us an idea of what is the version of Windows that's running on that particular box this client so from a from a security perspective you know that information is kinda handy if we were gonna try to exploit that device I now know what version of Windows is running and what version of Internet Explorer so if I know the vulnerabilities against that machine I could start launching attacks and you know try to be successful again not trying to teach you how to hack but at least show you what valuable information is is contained in this free tool so hope that's worth you know a few minutes of your time play with it and it's been fun make it a great day